It's Easter morning. Good morning. We're in our neighborhood drive through art show. We made art, um, my daughter and I, and this is Passion Week, the story starting with Jesus' birth. Mary and Joseph really happy with the tiny baby and the star that, um, that showed them the way that the Magi followed and that's written about in uh, T.S. Eliot's poem. And it's in astronomy too, just the record that there really was the star of Galilee. And um, anyhow, so there is uh, Jesus a little older in the temple talking to the elders. And yeah, they are older and have a lot of prestige. So these heads are looking at him and they're really um, asombrados, they're really awestruck that he knows so much about God. So then his ministry continues and he gets older. He's 33 when he starts going out in public and he healed a little girl who had died and he said, um, Talitha, come, get up. And she got up. So there's joy in her face. Then here's Jesus and the little children that he really loved, little children. The baby in his arm who is sacred from conception and then the little toddler, he's got his, Jesus has his hand on his head. And then the middle schooler on the left and the teenager on the right. And he has a man bun. And then here's Jesus and this is about his power where he is um, rebuking the serpent who stands for the devil and we have a good God and a bad devil so there he is um, my son said throwing the serpent and <clears throat> then we have the scene of the Last Supper and it kind of has the feeling of a team I kind of saw this as like a soccer team or football team or girls volleyball team which our daughter played girls volleyball and our other kids all played soccer so uh, so she's the baby so we have six kids all together but she's the only one at home so anyhow um, these are the um, Jesus and his disciples and they are having challah bread challah and the wine because this is when Jesus told them um, that he was going to give himself up to be our Savior and that we needed to uh, desire him and um, to abide in him to live in him to take part in him like eating bread and drinking wine and um, his body was the bread and his blood um, was the wine. And then here we have Passion Week and the agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. The, these are outlines over top of a uh, sunset painting. And so Jesus was agonizing and the stars are in the sky, there's a shooting star. and It's about destiny that he said, God, my father, because he was the son, he said, if you choose, if this is your plan for me to die and um, to be tortured and die and then rise again, I'll do it, even though it's really hard. And he was in anguish. So then he was taken before the authorities and Pontius Pilate, he was crowned with a crown of thorns. You know, just think about what it's like when you have a headache, but to have your whole head pierced and surrounded with hideous, hideous, um, torturous thorns. And his uh, torture, his um, punishment, when the um, crowd and um, the 
Pharisees, the Jewish leaders, uh, wanted him gotten rid of because he was threatening their power. And it was according to God's plan and the prophecies. But because of that, he was tortured and tormented. And it says um, he was almost not recognizable as a human man. So he really was tortured. And here he's carrying his cross on the Via Dolorosa, the painful road. And, um, yeah, he was most likely, um, you know, dripping blood. He, we know in the garden when he was in anguish, he was, uh, had great do drops of blood. And then he's on the cross and he was pierced. Um, nails in his hands and in his feet and um, he was wounded for our iniquities and pierced for our transgressions and sure the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we we're healed then he went he was buried in the tomb in a rich man's tomb and um, that was a prophecy too he fulfilled three about 365 prophecies that mathematically statistically it was just un impossible so and again this is over a painting of a sunset and um, it has significance just how universal um, Jesus death and resurrection were. He was the creator of the universe. And so here the creator of the universe is uh, in the rich man's tomb and the ark signifies the stone that was uh, closing him in and yet he wasn't really closed in because it says he laid down his life. So he chose to die and then he chose to rise from the dead. So he had great power and um, he was in control of that power. Then here is a painting of um, him resurrecting and it's the perspective is he's up high ascending, his feet are not on the ground so now he has a new body and the stone is rolled away which the soldiers got in trouble because um, of that and the pharisees and the leaders jewish leaders said make up a story that um, his disciples stole the body but um, the stone was i don't know a, a ton or so so um, and all the disciples were willing to die rather than to um, say that he didn't resurrect. So here he is with the scars in his hands and feet. And um, you can imagine, I, I wonder, did he shout as he emerged? <laughs> and he is now, he has the keys to hell and death now. So he has all authority restored now and he gives it to the believers. So, yeah, his hands are really big. We're looking at him from above. His head is tilted back. So the perspective is on the the, the bottom. We're looking up under his nose some. And um, anyhow, so, yeah, and it's the morning, the third day. On the third day, he rose. So then we go to the Resurrection Jubilee. This is the celebration at the tomb, we got the bunny there, these amazing little chicks, and there's a, a dog playing with butterflies, and the doves, and this is by my daughter Annalisa, and then this amazing lion and lamb. So we don't see things as they are yet. He's not um, put everything under his feet yet, but. Um, we are waiting for him to put everything um, back and um, for when we can be with him and uh, the lamb 
and um, we don't need any light in heaven because he's there. He's our light. So thank you for joining us for, um, for Easter, for Resurrection. And yeah, and you see that sun behind the tomb, that he has risen. And it says that he's a sunrise on high. He's risen with healing in his wings. Pretty cool.